have no need for a biscuit, a chew toy, or two bowls on a stand. No desire to investigate a shrub or sleep on an oval mat by the door. But sometimes, waiting at a light, I start to identify with the blonde lab with his head out the rear window of the station wagon idling next to me. And if we speed off together, and I can see his dark lips flapping in the wind and his eyes closed, then I am sitting in the balcony of envy. Look at you, I usually say, when I see a terrier on a leash trotting briskly along as if running his weekday morning errands. And I stop to stare at any dog who is peering around a corner, returning a ball to the thrower, or staring back at me from a porch. So early this morning, there was no avoiding a twinge of jealousy for the young spaniel tied to a bench in the shade, who was now wagging not only his tail, but his whole, the whole of himself as a woman in a summer dress emerged from the glass doors of the post office, then crouched down in front of him, taking his chin in her hand, and said in a much scolding, mock-scolding tone, I told you I'd be right back, silly, leaving the dog to sit and return her gaze with a look of understanding which seemed to say, I know, I know, I never doubted that you would.